speak, but you've got to go through some protocol to do that. And there will be rules and regulations of that. I think that you know, reading up will make it way more productive than some we've had in the past. I mean, we're here to conduct city business, not listen to accusations. And the mayor just pointed out how inaccurate some of them were over the last few months. So John has worked with this with some other cities, I think. What we can do, uh, and I'd like for everybody to take a look at this. You know, we have a second reading. Would you, next week. would you mind reading the first two lines of the whereas is this kind of giving a general statement on the very top? The purpose of whereas, the two whereas lines. the meeting of the city council and the city of Council of Kentucky are for the purpose of the city council to act as a legislative branch of the city government and as the policy making body. Whereas the city council decides to establish rules of conduct for the meeting of the city council and for the city of Camden. Terry, I understand where you're coming from. I'd like some time to digest this. No, and that's what we want. I want you to look at it. And right. the first look I've seen it. John, I'm assuming you compared this to the study open the meeting laws. Absolutely. There, you know, one thing that everybody needs to understand is that it's a public meeting and the public has an absolute right to attend and there's nothing contained in this that would suggest otherwise. Um, there's, there's not an absolute right to speak at a meeting, but certainly as the policy making body, the legislative body, I'm sure the council would want to have comment on proposed legislation and things that the council has decided. Um, and, and so uh, there are, every city has their own set of rules. Uh, this was, I didn't, uh, I didn't just come up with this, I think it plagiarized like that. Uh, we do most lawyers do so uh, try to find the best that was out there and then uh, customize it for our uh, our situation had conversation with both uh, mr nunnery as well as uh, mr Keltner about what it was they'd like to see you know in this document but certainly can tweak or change if anybody has issues or problems like i said since we're starting to get a chance to look at it as a former newspaper person you know i am concerned about any limitations the public does have a right to speak certainly they need to speak with restraint Lightness and but if you look at section 12a i mean there's just a protocol to go through and they, they will have the same right they have today but you have to go through some protocol uh, i just reserve judgment until i get a chance to go But the main thing for this protest today, it's not about the sewage issue, it's, it's not about concealed records, open records, it's not about any of that, it's about stripping us of our First Amendment rights. We have the right to address City Council and the Mayor with issues within the community. It's not right for him to pick and choose who says what and when. Um, during this last City Council meeting, he cut, he cut us off all at three minutes, you know, which is legal. We're, you know, we can't say anything about that. A take home vehicle by the city down here three minutes or up. Is it something that we can use for the park? The 10% that we're apparently going to make. But it goes along with mistrust. In 2014. Down here three minutes or up. Thank you very much. To be able to pick and choose who speaks, who doesn't, that's wrong. That's wrong. In any case, those of us that you know do our research and address issues within our city, we're going to be shut down. And, and it's not right. It's, it's stripping us up. of our rights. Now they're wanting to put in an ordinance that says that you have to submit in writing seven days prior, and it's up to the mayor to approve or disapprove if you want to address the council with any kind of concern. Dirty. It's just not fair. We don't tell the mayor or city council, you know, your three minutes are up. It's it's rude. Uh, it's not right. And then the new ordinance that they're trying to pass through that was actually written by an attorney is completely illegal. It, it is in infringement on our First Amendment rights um, for free speech. Uh, it's not right that you ask for a seven day notice. Uh, they could be approved or disapproved by the mayor. So at his discretion, you can or cannot express um, your concerns within the community. It's not right. It's not right to take away our rights. The corruption in this small town has got to end. 
um, he says that media attention is negative and it's not. If it wasn't for media attention, then things in this community would not be addressed as, as should. Um, we're sick of being the smaller voices. We're, we're tired of being stomped on. We're sick of it. Party. We are finally speaking out for what is legally our right. Uh, and for the mayor and city council to try to take that away from us, no, we have a voice and we need to be heard. There's questions that we have, but we can't seem to get any answers. Um, we get shut down, we get timed. Um, there's a lot of questions that we need answers to. And, and he should be, as the mayor of Campbellsville, be able to give us answers to these questions. I think it's hogwash is what I really think it is. It's against my First Amendment rights. Uh, I should not be have to, have to uh, put my question into writing and hope that they decide to answer it. And for them to quiet me on a three minute rule, that's outrageous. I should be able to speak and have my words heard. And that's what I think about it. The people that live in the city, they pay these people's salary, the mayor and the city council, and their voice should be heard. And if the city council, can't answer their questions, they should say so. And we should work together, but uh, the mayor and the city council are not working together with the people in this city. And it has to change. Time for change is now. We're tired of our First Amendment right being stomped on by a panel of people who are supposed to represent us. This is America. 1776, we declared independence from this kind of dictatorship. It will not go down. We will not accept it. We will fight back. My suggestion to all citizens of Campbellsville and elsewhere is speak up, speak loud, and speak often. It's your right. No one has the right to take that away from you. It's illegal.